Beneath this cover, I've got a Porsche 996 that I believe may be the rarest Carrera in the country. This video is going to show all the prep work that's going into it for sale, as well as detailing all the spec and options that make it such a rare car. It's also going to feature a guard's red 996 that I've got over in the background, I don't think you can see it in the shot, and just showing the prep work that's going into that during sale as well. Here we go then, another car in, early 996 S-Reg, 1998, Guards Red of course, looks absolutely fantastic in Guards Red, it's a car we've had in before, uh, about three years ago, just come and picked it up from Wales, literally just rolled it back off the trailer, it's got a few bits and pieces that need doing, I've already noticed, it's got an engine management light, it's making the classic misfire that they make when one of the coil packs is breaking up. We've had it loads and loads of times. So I'm hoping six new coil packs, that will sort that out. It needs a bit of paintwork. It's got micro blistering on this wing. There you go, you can just catch that on that rear quarter. So that rear quarter will need doing. I'll have that window taken out, get it down the body shop. I think the mirror on the other side's got um, micro blistering as well. So I'll get that done too. A few other tiny little mechanical bits and pieces. I'm going to take it down to Porsche Care. I'll take a film of it of us poking around underneath, and we'll see what we'll see what Matt's down there thinks of it. Busy day ahead today. Newly in guards red cars here. I'm going to take it down to Porsche Care now. We're going to have a look over it, see what else it needs in, on top of the things that I already know about. It's really it's misfiring still at the moment because of those coil packs, so it's not going to be that much fun driving it down there. And then I'm on my way to pick up another car that I'm actually really excited about. Very rare spec, so I won't give it away just yet, but um, I will do in due course. I'll show you what this sounds like at the moment. Not good. We'll go and get that sorted now. Guys at Porsche Care just been over the car. And they've compiled a shopping list for me, as ever. Here we go. We're doing a major service with coil packs, plugs, brake fluid. We're doing front bump stops and we'll do the top mounts and bearings again, like on the other cars. There's some kind of surface rust they're gonna clean up for me. Coffin arms all round again, like on the early silver car we've just done. Uh, normal body parts need cleaning up brake pipes, we're doing a gearbox service on it, it's not been done for a while. Two solenoid seals again, looking a bit leaky. Uh, and it was the coil packs that were causing the misfire. Two coil packs had a misfire, so we're doing all six of those. And there we go. That's what the bump stops look like when they're split. See, it's all broken up up there. Again, the top mounts aren't knocking, but we'll do those at the same time because that whole suspension leg's got to come down. But other than that, the car's a, the car's a good car. It's got new Pirelli tyres all around. The front discs and pads are brand spanking new. The air conditioning condensers look fairly new. It's got a new air conditioning pipe down this side. So yeah, it's just these coffin arms aren't looking new again. Again, the car's not knocking. You can see they're delaminating in the bushes a bit as well. Oh, I don't know why he dropped the car down. I can't really get underneath. It was leaking a bit from the automatic gearbox. I did notice that before, so he's going to service the gearbox and take that sump pan off and put a new gasket on. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to order the parts now and I'll show you when it's done. I'm now, as you can see, I'm not in a Porsche for a change. I've got a trailer hitched to the back and I'm on my way to go and pick up the car I mentioned earlier. And I'm really excited about this one. It's, it's different to the usual stuff. It's the same model, it's a 996 but it's different. I've not had one like this before. So I'm not going to give it away just yet. I'll show you when it's on the trailer. So see it in a bit. Okay, so I've just got back. That was a long day. 
but it was well worth it. And uh, I'm looking at the car now, really pleased with it. Some people are gonna think I'm a bit boring for being so excited about this, but if you're enthusiastic, you won't be. And let's be honest, it's only enthusiasts watching this video, because to anyone else, it's probably quite a boring video. Anyway, without further ado, look at that. So in the last video, I was saying how much I like the early 996s in a Coupe Carrera 2 manual. Well, this is just that, and just look at that colour. I've never even seen one in that colour, let alone had one. And we've had over 200 996s in before, so that tells you how rare it is. It's called Ocean Jade Metallic. It was a colour, I, I believe it was from the 993. It's a non sunroof again. It's got things like, it's got the very rare hollow wheels. So how you tell, put your fingers behind there and you won't feel any indents because that spoke is hollow. So they're lighter weight, less unsprung weight on this suspension. Look how clean it is inside, 75,000 miles. It's got the crests on the headrest, which is really rare on an early car. Three prong steering wheel with spec. Again, that's rare on an early car. Tech equipment, aluminium inlaid, handbrake and gear stick. It hasn't got traction control, which I really like. It's just really basic and analog, like I was speaking about the other car. Stainless steel door shuts. I suspect this could have been a press release car or something like that, because when you get a really early one like this, in a rare spec, it's kind of, it was poor showing off the new model. So I'm gonna delve a little bit deeper into that and find out about it. As ever, there's a few things to do. It's creaking quite badly actually over where the chap lived where I've just picked it up from, there were speed bumps and it was creaking from all four corners over them. So it needs lower control arms, like I've just shown you we're doing on the Gars Red car. Anyway, what I'm gonna do I'm going to let him crack on with the Gars red car. I uh, ordered all the bits today. I'm dropping them off with him tomorrow. He'll finish that car hopefully tomorrow afternoon. And then I'll swap over and we'll have a look underneath this one. Down at Porsche Care and they've done all the work. Yet again, Matt the man was complaining about getting these rear arms off, but they're all done now. Looking lovely. There we go. We've got new you can see them bump stops top mounts and bearings what else have we done oh the uh the gearbox that was leaking that's all cleaned up nicely now and been serviced new oil new filter and new gasket so yeah all the work's done can't remember what else we've done just a major service is what it's had with coil packs included and the heat shields which look like that and solenoid seal up there. And what I've got outside, we're about to put this one on the ramp, is the Ocean Jade car. So we'll see that in a second. No more misfire. Sounds good. Right, let's get underneath the Ocean Jade car. He's just inspected it and told me what's what. We know we're doing the rear arms already. Just look what a nice, clean car that is underneath clearly been garaged its whole life. Aircon pipes looking good. Front very clean as well. All these front fixings are all good. Usually they've got one or two that need refixing. Yeah, changing all these four arms again. The bump stops as ever are perished up there. I already knew about that as well. He's noticed a power steering crimp in there. And he's mending. I told him that the rear brake pads were a bit low, but they're only about 50% worn, so we'll probably end up leaving those. 
and he's just going to clean up the brake pipes like on most of them. The one along the seal here, just a little bit of rust, so that can be cleaned up. What else have we got on the list? Low tone horn, again, air conditioning is gassed, but it's low, so it's making a bit of a whine, so he's going to regas that. We've been over the power steering crimp. He's, got, he's found some front under tray clips. He wants to, you're being very pedantic here, Matt. He wants to spin these cl clamps round so that these oh, don't poke out. So at the bottom of the car, if you're down here, you don't see them. Yeah, it's unacceptable. So there we go, it's unacceptable. So that's it. There we go. So it's a lovely sunny Sunday afternoon. I'm out here detailing the red 996. I wasn't going to show the detailing to either car in this video because the video is going to end up being quite long. But what I wanted to show, the kind of before and after of all the swirl marks that these cars always seem to come in with. So this rear quarter, I've left half of it, as you can see there. And then as we move forward to the bit that I've finished there, it makes a real difference. I think a colour like red, people don't notice the swirl marks. You can't really see the scratches. You stand back and it looks okay. But you really notice the gloss difference when you've given it a machine polish. So these are the products I use. This is the cutting compound when it's really bad. Go over with that first and then finish off with the finishing compound. Or if the car's not too bad, just start with that. But anyway, this car's been to Porsche Care, had its mechanical work done as you've seen. I'm going to get the pictures for the advert done now, put it on the website, and then it's going to go to the body shop to have the other side's rear quarter done to get rid of those micro blisters that you've seen. All right, I'm back down at Porsche Care. We've got the Ocean Jade car in, it's all finished. Again, new top mounts, pump stops, and bearings. The brake discs that are new that weren't done here, though, they were previously already done. Can you whack it up in the air? I can get underneath. New front arms. New rear arms. What else have we done under here? I can't even remember. This stuff here, look. It's a new horn. Um, we gas the aircon, fix the power steering. Oh, the power steering crimp we spoke of before up here. Lovely. Spun the exhaust clamps, put the pointing down. There you go. Um, That's the exhaust clamp. That's how it should look. He was being very fussy about. That looks great. You straightened up the tailpipe tip as well, didn't you? You weren't happy with that. Yeah, that's all the work done to this. Lovely clean car. And you've done a wheel alignment as well. All right, get it down then. I guess I'm looking forward to giving it a spin. So we've got both cars back from Porsche Care, having had their mechanical prep work completed. And actually they've both pretty much had the same prep work. And it's work that of a 22 year old 911, if it hasn't been done already, it's going to need doing. So we often do this kind of work. So obviously you've seen bump stops, top mounts, bearings on the front of both cars, lower control arms in all four corners, again on both cars, a service to both cars. And then he's cleaned things like the shock bodies and the brake lines and just metal components under the car that get a bit scabby if they haven't been cleaned and protected in a little while. Obviously on top of that, on the red car, we had a couple of other issues. So we had the uh, automatic gearbox was leaking. It was coming from the sump. So he took the sump pan off. He put a new gasket on there, cleaned it all up. And then while he was there, he serviced the box. So he put new fluid in there and a new filter. It's not, a, it's not a small job that, that took quite a while. 
Um, and obviously as well, we had the misfire. So like I expected from the start, it was the coil pack. So that's had six coil packs as well. So yeah, they're both ready to go now. Funnily enough as well, they've both, I'm just looking through the, the wheel of the red car. They've both had brand new brake discs on the front and pads that was done previous to us taking ownership of them. But that's been done to both cars. So they've both got equal amount of new components and work done. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got to go out in the, in the ocean jade car, haven't I? So I'm gonna take that out for a spin. I've got a new GoPro camera, so hopefully the quality's gonna be better. So yeah, I'm gonna get that out on the road. I'll see you in a sec. disappointing it feels brilliant all that work we've done to the suspension it's made a really tight and responsive 996 basically rinse and repeat all the words I was using to describe the silver early 996 in the last video but in addition to that it's got something that I wasn't going to mention until we get to this picturesque spot I'm gonna stop at in a minute and talk about the spec it's got the very very rare hollow spoke turbo twist alloy wheels and what that means is there's less unsprung weight. The wheels don't weigh nearly as much as the standard wheels. And less unsprung weight means an edgier car. It feels more darty, it feels even more responsive than the silver car we were talking about. And it's just an absolute joy to drive. Anyway, less of me waffling. I'm gonna to get to this spot, park it up, and then run through some of the spec that this car's got. Here we go then. I've stopped at the spot I was talking about. You may recognize it. I stopped here about six weeks ago in the video for the 944, but the field looked a bit different then. Anyway, here's the car. I'm gonna spin the camera around and run you through why I think this might be the rarest 996 Carrera in the country. Let's start with the aspect of the car that's glaringly obvious, the color. Ocean Jade is a colour I've never had on a Porsche 996, or any Porsche for that matter. I've never seen one up for sale in this colour, I've never seen one on a forum or a Facebook page. It's very rare, it was only an option on the 1998 996, and it was special order. It was a colour that was originated on the 993, like I thought it was, I mentioned it earlier in the video. I looked into it and that's where the colour originated from. So that, accompanied by the fact that it's an early car, 1998, non-sunroof, Carrera, coupe, manual. Makes it even more rare. But if we come around to the back of the car, probably the second most rare thing about this car, what's missing from that shot? Usually, they have a hole here with a wiper arm coming out and a wiper going up the back there. I've only ever seen a 
996 spec without that on a GT3. Never on a normal 996 Carrera. But if, just if I step up here, look how clean that looks from the back without the sunroof, and without that wiper arm coming out. It just looks so tidy and crisp, the lines of the car. Stepping around here, I already mentioned this. The 996 often comes with the turbo twist style wheels like these, but not the hollow spoked ones. So hollow spoke, it means they're literally, that spoke is hollow. If you reach around the back of a normal one, they've got indents to strengthen it up. But that's hollow, it makes them a lot lighter and the car handle better. If you wanted to find a second hand set of those on eBay, if you could find one at all, they're probably two to three grand, but this car came with that on its original spec. If we go inside the car, stainless door shuts. You often get that on the later models, the 2003 and 4s, but it's rare on an early car. The seats have Porsche crests in the headrest, that's rare. We've got the different coloured stitching all on the seats. Again, it must have been special order. Tech Equipment Sports Package, which includes the handbrake and the gear stick with the aluminium embodied sections, as well as the centre console in this silver. That's original, it's not been done afterwards like a lot have. Same as the dials, the dial surround, sorry. And just the general condition of this car, it's just, it's just in perfect condition. It makes it a rare thing. If we go inside the center console, it's still got the original cup holders that go in the air vents here. They're always broken or lost. So just to see those, that's a rare sight. The bodywork again, it's just absolutely superb. So that, that's surely the rarest 996 in the country. I must be right. <laughs> I mean, that's the absolute perfect car. Perfect car to take to Porsche meets or take to classic car shows and, and compete with. Taking that's almost like cheating. You know before you get there, you're gonna take the award away with you. In fact, do you know what? If I hadn't just built the new showroom, that wouldn't be going up for sale on the website. That'd be going in the personal collection. Someone's gonna get a very, very special 996.